Okay, guys. This is our Monday morning. This is episode two. Uh, I think two of falling for my boss. I still can't believe what happened last night. Maybe I should find a different job. <laughs> but I need to pay my rent. Maybe he was drunk and won't even remember the kiss. Oh, cop on. Oh, come on, Lexi. Time to get ready. Let's see. Yep, this is what we want to work. Perfect. Let's get this over with. Where's Miss Jones? Better let her know I'm here. And there she goes. Hi, Miss Jones. It's Lexi Logan. I'm here for my first day. Hello, Miss Logan. How are you? I'm fine, Miss Jones. Looking forward to getting started. Please, dear, call me Sandy. Um, come on, and I'll get. I'll show you. Your uh to your office. Thanks, Sandy. Oh, my goddamn lip is killing me. Here we go, dear. This is your office. It's lovely. Thank you. Mr. Marshall has left notes on your desk on what he wants done today. He's out of the office all day, and I'm not sure when he'll be back. Phew, thank God. He wants me to explain to you your duties and your responsibilities. I wonder where he is. I'm trying to is he trying to avoid me? Your job description here at Marshall Enterprises is janitor soft a junior janitor junior software engineer. You'll be expected to research problems and develop solutions. Also to review software requirements and design. I wonder what he what does he uh I wonder does he have a girlfriend? He, um, no, um you are responsible for the support of the office, restores the fabric, and numerous other things that will be explained in due course. Or a wife. Oh my god. Uh, did you get all that, Miss Logan, or do you want me to go over it again? Please call me Alexi, and that's, and no, that's fine, Sandy. I've got it all. Thank you. Very well, Alexi. I, I will have to get you, well, I'll leave you to get on with it. I'm on extension one on the phone if you need me. Good luck, dear. Thanks, Sandy. Mm -mm. So let's see what I have to do today. A few hours ago. Um, finally all done. What to do now? Ring, ring. Hello, Marshall Enterprises. Lexi speaking. How can I help you? Well, hello, Miss Luggy. <laughs> oh my God, it's <laughs> him. Mr. Marshall, uh, hi, sir. I'm sorry I missed you uh, today, Miss Logan, but I'm sure I'll see you soon. Did you get all the work done that I left for you? Yes, sir, all done. Good. Good girl, Miss Logan. Bitch. I like a girl that can follow orders. Goodbye. Follow orders? Right, bitch. You got the good girl. Girl, you got me fucked up, girl. You got me fucked up, girl. <laughs> what is with this guy? This home time. Day one complete. Alma, are you home? Oh, there it is. Yeah, Lex, let me hear. So, how was your uh first day? It was okay, I guess. Mr. Marshall was away all day. But Miss Jones is very nice. If I didn't know any better, I would say you were disappointed that Mr. Mar that Mr. Marshall wasn't there. No, he phoned, but it was very strange. He called me a good girl and said he likes a girl that can follow orders. What? That is strange. What is he playing at? Sorry, guys. I don't know, Alma. I don't think I want to find out. Anyway, I'm going to bed. I'm a wreck. Um, well, I'm wrecked. Uh, okay, Lex. I think I'll hit the hay as well. Night. Night, Alma. Bitch, when I tell you my fucking mouth, like, the inside of my mouth is, like, killing me. I have snake bites, and my son, like, headbutted me in the mouth, baby. It, it, my lip ring, like, tore the skin in my mouth. Like, it was bleeding. It was horrible, and this shit hurts. So bad. Um, Alma is right that, uh, Alma's right, what the hell is he playing at? Time to Google our Mr. Marshall the third. Let's see what we can, uh, find about you. 
So he's a billionaire uh, CEO to Marshall Enterprises. His father is a founder of it, and he has one brother, Tim. That must have been the guy with him at the bar. They looked like twins. Uh, he has a fiance, Veronica Roberts, heir to uh, Stilton Fortune. So the Stilton Hotel. So why the hell was he kissing me? What the hell is his game? Time to get ready for bed. Here I am. Here I am. Bed. Wait, time for bed. Oh, God. I'm morning already. I wonder will I see him today. I hope not. I better get up. Time to go. Hey, Sandy, how are you? Good morning, dear lovely day out. It sure is. Is Mr. Marshall in yet? No, dear, not yet. Okay, Sandy, talk later. I wonder where he is. No, you don't, Lexi. Forget about him. Um, now, nah, what do I have to do today? Knock, knock. Come here. Ah, uh, let's log in. Mr. Marshall, sir, hello. Relax, Miss Logan, I don't bite. Unless, of course, you want me to. No, sir, I don't want that. I mean, I don't mind or I, um... So, Miss Logan, any problems you're, or you're in? No, sir, no problems. The McNeil contract went out. Still waiting to hear back from them. Uh, chase that up. Ring the McNeil's office and set up a meeting for tonight. Dinner, tell them. Yes, sir. And Miss Logan, you will accompany me to the meeting. What? Me, sir? Yes, you, Miss Logan. <laughs> and dress appropriate. It's in our upmarket restaurant. Yes, sir. Oh, my God. Why does he want me there? And why the, And what the hell am I going to wear? Tonight, Miss Logan, is going to be your lo uh, lucky night. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, that was, uh, Mr. Marshall. Oh, what has Mr. Marshall got in store for Lexi? Will she regret ever joining Marshall Enterprises? Find out in the next episode of Falling for My Boss. Oh, that was only seven minutes. Shit, I feel like I should do another episode within this one, but I don't want to do all those fucking commercials and shit. So I hope you guys enjoyed that, honey.